गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग लवली माई नेम इज आंसटा लोवेस यू गाइज इज माई फर्स्ट एवर मेकअप सिट डाउन यूट्यूब वीडियो आई एम सो सो एक्साइटेड टू टीच मेकअप टू नो लर्न मोर अबाउट मेकअप टू गैदर एंड आई एम सो एक्साइटेड फॉर यू गाइज टू वॉच दिस वीडियो होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट दिस मेकअप लुक दिस इज डेफिनेटली नॉट अ नो मेकअप मेकअप लुक यू कैन सी इट्स दिस क्लियरली मेकअप बट दिस इज बेसिक एवरी डे मेकअप लुक दैट यू कैन एलिवेट आई आई हैव शोन हाउ यू कैन एलिवेट दिस लुक एंड क्रिएट दिस ब्यूटिफुल लुक राइट हियर सो विदाउट फर्दर यू लेट्स क्विकली जम्प राइट इन टू द वीडियो एज वी नो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज स्किन प्रेप हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट स्किन प्रेप इज बिफोर मेकअप इफ यू आर ड्राई स्किन टाइप यू कैन चूज अ थिक मॉइस्चराइजर इफ यू आर ऑयली skin type you can choose an oil free or gel based moisturizer i am an oily and an acne prone skin type so i use the neutrogena hydro boost cream gel this works good for me it does not break me out if you are someone like my skin type you can definitely choose this product once i'm done moisturizing my face i like to quickly do my brows for my brows i'm going to use these two products this is the benefit brow pen this is the nyx brow glue please set my brows with the nyx gel done brushing my brows i like to go ahead and fill it with a pencil Shade zero six in benefit. Now that I'm done with my brows, let's quickly move forward to color correcting. So for color correction, I know we have a lot of theories that if you have redness, you can cancel it out with a green color corrector. If you have dark pigmentations, you can cancel it out with an orange color corrector. While all of that is true, you may not need it. If you are someone who does not have very dark pigmentation. or deep discoloration then honestly you do not need an orange or a red color corrector you do need instead is a shade that exactly matches your skin type or a deeper one so let me show you i'm using the insight hd color correcting palette and i'm using the shade that exactly matches my skin tone and let me show you how the magic is done so i take a bit of product on my concealer brush as you can see i have pigmentations on this side as well you see because this shade is a slight darker for me it cancels out all the pigmentation and gives me a beautiful skin see i told you it works like magic a proper color correction will lead you to this space now you will not even have the issue of grayness or any see through pigmentation through your foundation if you want a dewy base you can go for the elf halo glow this is a beautiful product in itself there is i don't need to say much about this product if you just want to go on a day to day basis you can definitely skip this but if you're going for an event or a party you can definitely add some what i'm going to do is i'm just going to place it on the high points of my face like so and blend it in take a fluffy brush like so and set it with a loose powder you can take any loose powder to be honest I like the Fit Me one. I'm using the Fit Me one, and I like the Fit Me one, so that's why I go ahead and use this. But honestly, you can use any loose powder, and you're just going to slightly set it. This is not your OG setting. This I I do this because I tend to get oily very often, so I just like to slightly with the slightest bit of powder. I'm setting my face. You can see the difference. That's why I love this. technique and i don't skip on it and trust me guys i've taken the slightest product today we'll go with the makeup forever ultra hd foundation this is a very beautiful foundation you guys it sets beautifully and it's good for oily skin type as well so you can definitely try this product out and simply just take the same brush that i used for highlighter and tap it in like so what happens is if i use this way to the product of the brush trust me guys this gives a beautiful and a flawless foundation foundation application just try this if you don't have this you can take it in the back of your hand and just start from the center of your face and spread it all out if you see we don't have grayness under our foundations because we have done a proper color correction so if your color correction is proper honestly you will have no issue with grayness of the foundation the concealer i'm going to use the bobby brown concealer this is a light shade for me but i'm just going to use a tad bit a little bit on the inner corners and the outer corners to give that lift also a little bit about myself i'm from india as you guys know and i have been living in mumbai since i was a kid i moved to dubai around 2 years back and i'm here since then to be honest i did not 
decide or plan on moving to this country i just came here for my brother's wedding all thanks to him and and then i decided you know what i just don't want to go back let me just try and figure out my life here since i already completed my graduation so i was like since i'm already here let me just try and see how it goes how it works for me if it works well and good if not then maybe something else i will you know focus on the education or something i was not really prepared or sure about anything it was a journey it was a beautiful journey i thoroughly enjoyed it i kept my faith in the lord me guys in back in india or home we get a lot of pampering like all of our things are done by our parents and you know we don't have to do much i think all of those guys who have moved abroad can highly re relate to me it's, it's a fair share of washing dishes taking care of your work managing your health and all of it like it's a lot but once you sink in once you're familiarized with everything it is very easy it's not it's not as difficult as we make it so that's how i moved to this country it was not planned or anything i just came here for the wedding and i was like mm, let's try how it goes yeah. now i have a job i am working in in dubai now you're wondering how i got a job in dubai i came and i searched for a job and i got it it's as simple as it is there's no shortcut to it if you think like someone is going to get a, like you know when you come here someone is going to help you with the job of course there are people who will help you but you have to work hard you have to go out there you have to put yourself out there you have to make connections you have to go for a lot of interviews and eventually you will get something that it's not that there are no opportunities in this country or something like that it's a beautiful country it's the safest place to live in as far as i know now the rules are changed and it's a bit different it was a little easier 2 years back but now it's a bit difficult as far as i know i'm going to use the george armani contour it's a nice contour it blends easily so i like to use this one and i'm if you can see i'm just going to place it on the high points of my face so that it gives me a lifted effect to be honest this is just optional if you like to contour you can contour if you're someone who does not like to contour it's okay you can completely skip it so that's fine i like my nose so i don't go ahead and contour it as much a dense brush but it should be a little smaller and just blend it through see it instantly adds so much color and so much lift to my face and also if you have any questions about me and you want to know more about me then please let me know in the comment sections below i would love to answer those questions for you because this is my first sit down youtube makeup video i really didn't know what questions or what topic should i speak on so i am just speaking a little bit about me so that you get to know who i am and what my passion is and how you can learn new makeup tricks if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe i am new to youtube and i am looking forward to build a community with you guys don't forget to like this video leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel so for blush i'm going to use the she glam blush i really like this blush it's a very lightweight brush if you want your blush to like last i i would recommend you to you know just buy a tint you can definitely pick one of them out whichever suits the best for you completed all the liquid products on my face and set my face with a powder puff i've taken a bit of powder and i'm just gently going to tap in the product do not just take it and directly apply because this is a too because this is too much powder for under your eyes if i apply this much powder it's going to be a lot on your face so mix this powder off like so and now the powder is a little less first if you have any creases since we have applied the concealer for a longer time then of of course there will be creases just take your fingers and rub the creases off like so. so now since the creases are off just look on top just look on top and press the powder in like so now it's set it's not going to crease more just give it like 30 seconds or so if you are a girl who likes to bake now you can go ahead and bake your face or if you're someone who just likes to set your under eye you can just set it same fluffy brush just dip it in this time i will take a little more powder powder lightly and set my face i'll not touch my under eyes because it's i've put a light powder for baking and i like it i mean i don't want to touch it i like the way it's already positioned so i'll just let it be I'll just set my face like so Let's move forward to the eyes. 
for eyes i'm going to take this palette right here this is the huda beauty light palette and the reason why i'm taking this uh, eyeshadow pa palette in specific is because these are neutral shades so i'm sure all of you guys might have all the neutral shades so i'm just sticking to the basics and making it a glam so i'm going to take a lighter shade a lighter shade on the inner corner darker shade on the outer corner that will help you create a monochromatic look now let me show you how to do it the brush it's not very fluffy but i will just take these two shades and put it on my inner corner like so reason why I mixed both the shades is because this is a white shade if i would put that on my eyelid i would get a very gray effect that's why i went with a darker shade to neutralize it once i neutralize it i will get a more better effective shade you will see that in a bit just trust the process you guys and you can just blend it back and forth that's it make sure to clear all the creases before you start applying your powders as you can see i have given a very bright effect on the inner corners of my eyes to be honest you can take the same blending brush or you can take a fluffier brush it's totally up to you however works for you then i'm going to take the same brush take a darker shade i'm just dabbing the color onto my eyes like so at this point what i would recommend is take the fluffy brush and just blend out the edges you honest you do not need like a thousand brushes you can have one good eyeshadow blending brush and your work will be done so you just need to know the techniques and that's it so if you can see i have given a more monochromatic look you can see the difference but you can also see a line that's dividing the color I, and we do not want that so in the same fluffy brush just take this shade to neutralize everything you see i'm just working with three shades at this point same shade tap off the excess in the same fluffy brush just blend it all in just blend it all in don't blend it too much so yeah these are just small little tricks makeup is not difficult guys trust me these are just small little tricks that will help you enhance your makeup and make your makeup look much 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 better so for more such tips subscribe to my channel and like this video i'm going to do the same thing on this eye also i would recommend this to give it a more effect just take a small brush like this on shadow on the brush the color underneath your eyes like so and with the under eyes well if you want you can leave it at this or i have two more steps that you can add the black kajal or an eye shadow that you have i'm using the maybelline glossal kajal and just lightly you don't have to be very perfect if you don't even know how to do eyeliners that's okay with this look this is only if you're going for an event if you want to add that extra effect you can try this the small rounded brush and just blend it in a little careful when while you're working with black eye shadows or kajals it's a little tricky but once you get the drill you are going to love yourself completed the eye look this step is completely optional if you want you can add it or not take the shade right here on the brush and apply it on my inner corner okay guys so this is how you can elevate your basics into a different look altogether just a here and there a little bit of tips and techniques will help your makeup look flawless this if you want to elevate your look you also have to focus a bit on your eyelashes for eyelashes i'm using the huda beauty one coat wow mascara this is a very pretty mascara in itself and the name says it all honestly i'm not blessed with the best eyelashes but you will see the magic this eye this mascara does you see that's one coat you guys that's just one coat i this mascara just gave me a fall lashes look as but not the least i'll put a bit of blush i'm just going to add a little bit more blush and i'm also going to bronze my face a bit the way for the blush i used the nika blush it's a nice soft blush so i like it or though i'm using the iconic london you see adding a bit of color changes the dimension of your look so guys just add a bit of color make sure that your base is right to use a lip liner by nika this is in the shade pillow fight Lipstick. I'm going to use Nykaa by Nutras Kapi. It's a perfect, soft, matte nude lipstick. This has completed the look together, and I'm going to set my face with the Mac Fix spray. You can also use a different um, setting spray that works for you. One size is good. Urban Decay setting spray is good. 
just a disclaimer this is not a setting spray it's a fixing spray it will help you fix your makeup if you want to set your makeup you can go for something like this this is the urban decay setting spray this will help you set your makeup in place and not make it move for 16 hours that's what it claims be impressed with the product it's a nice product it will help you put your makeup in place so hey guys we are done with the makeup video for today hope you loved the video hope you liked the video hope you enjoyed a lot and if you want to know more about makeup do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell uh, I can to never miss a video from me. I will be putting more videos on makeup and how to get glam looks. Do let me know what is that you're looking for so I can help you more with makeup. And if you want to know more about me, don't forget to put your comments down below so that I can answer those questions. Until next time, thanks for watching.